Hello YouTube, this is Boba7772, and today I'm showing you the undead Geonosian Star Wars Clone Wars action figure. Um, first impressions review. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll start by going over the box. Okay, this has got to be the coolest box picture ever. His eyes are criffin glowing, and that's a Star Wars uh, term. <laughs> um, his eyes are glowing, which is awesome. Um, they're glowing here too, but yeah, I've already noticed something about this that I'll get to in the review. Um, Undead Geonosian. Um, it shows a nice picture, and the back of the box reads, Undead Geonosian warriors lurk in the vast underground hive. They're under the control of their queen, Katrina the Great, who uses a great worm to bring dead Geonosians to life. Obi-Wan, Anakin, and a squad of clone troopers battle these mindless zombies to rescue Luminara Unduli from her Geonosian captors. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I will now open the figure. <clears throat> okay, it comes with uh, one of these things, which I have a million of. I'm not going to go over that. Just throw that away. I'm going to take the UPS code off, or you, I don't know exactly what to call it, but um, I will need it in case they come out with some new awesome alloy. <clears throat> His card, an undead Geonosian. Unfortunately, there's a couple more, which probably means I'm going to have to get a couple more when they come out in December. Comes with a stand, says Star Wars, a Galactic Battle Dice. And now I will be getting to the figure and its accessories. This is a bit difficult to get out, so just bear with me for a second. Okay, um, all of his wings came off, so I guess I should just go ahead and say that now. He has removable wings. <clears throat> also, as you might have seen on the box or, um, something, he also, oh, great, this thing came off one sec. Okay, he can wear this thing around his neck, which shows this red, uh, dot. But then you can take it off, and it's pretty much there without the things. He also has, um, this to go on his back. Um, I guess the wings didn't fall off to put the wings on. Um, he has removable body limbs. But, um, before I go over that, I will go over, and the uh, arm came off. I will go over the articulation um, with this arm since he's holding the other one, the, a gun with the other one. Okay, uh, this one is pretty much ball jointed, uh, rotates around 360 degrees. This arm is um, can move um, like this, the elbow can move and then um, rotate around 360 degrees and then the hands can rotate around 360 degrees. The head ball jointed head, which fell off, can rotate around 360 degrees. The legs, ball jointed, uh, can go forward uh, pretty much 360 degrees if you want them to. Uh, thing's still on its leg. The waist <coughs> rotates around 360 degrees. I guess I should put that there. <clears throat> the uh, knees can bend forward and backwards and then rotate around 360 degrees. And then the feet can um, move as so. Uh, I guess up and down and then rotate around 360 degrees. 
So, I will attempt to put the accessories on this figure, probably with no luck, since it is very difficult to get the accessories on. Uh, I don't get why they made this such a, a figure for kids to play with if what it does is really just, um, how do I put this? Um, it, the parts don't sound well at all. Um, that, I guess, guess that's part of the <clears throat> play feature, but I wish that the legs would, st uh, the legs, arms, wings, everything would stand a little better. One second, I almost have the last wing. And that one fell off great. Uh, I guess it's easier to put the wings on. Um, you put the wings on this thing that's attachable that doesn't come on the figure, and then you can pretty much um, attach it to the back. Uh, it, w once you get the figure, it'll be pretty obvious. Okay. So there we go. Pretty much all his accessories. I don't know if I'm missing something, but if I am, too bad. Okay, so... I'll just take this off. The wings are supposed to come off. He has removable arms. Removable legs that are all supposed to come off. I don't know where they're all supposed to come off. Because the back of the box shows differently, but like, you know, undead. <clears throat> um, now if you look at the back of the box, it shows the arms coming off, um, like right at the shoulders, but the legs coming off right at the knees, which I don't think works for me. I'm not gonna take him off at the knees. I would not recommend it. Hasbro, that's a fatal flaw in your box that will get a lot of children and collectors, if decided to get this, very upset. So, okay, um, I would rate this, oh god, <laughs> I, if you're a kid, um, and, okay, let me rephrase this, if you like to, um, play with your figures, um, this is pretty cool, it's got some cool play features, if you want to collect it, um, you know, uh, I, I would not recommend getting this. They're coming out with a good Geonosian, hopefully another sculpt, but uh, an actual living one. Um, later, um, next year, uh, Hasbro has confirmed on a, um, some vehicle with, um, just like the Boil Pack just came out like this. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, but there is an awesome feature on it, which I wish I would have come up with one of these loose, but, um, I know you can't see it so well, but there is a worm hanging out of his mouth. Um, uh, kind of another flaw, Hasbro. It goes through the nose. I know that it went through the mouth in the episode, but it's supposed to go through the nose. Even if it does go through the mouth, I, I, I don't know how to say this. Um, but yeah, if you're a collector, if you're a kid, pretty much, I would recommend getting it if you find it, because these things are pretty cool to play with, but if you're a collector, uh, I, I would not, I would give it like a 3 out of 5, uh, 2 out of 5 even, maybe, I don't know, it's, it has awesome detail, but it's just, parts fall off too easily, so yeah, that's my review, thank you for watching, and may the force be with you, bye.